Hi, uh, I'd like to talk to you today about creepy customers. Now, uh, you know how some people, you just know that they kill people. You know that they must have already a couple of bodies in their boot, in the trunk of their car somewhere. Uh, anyway, he came in really late at night and I was working with my good friend and he just was odd. You know, some people you just know they kill people. They just have that look about them, you know. I'm sure you've done it yourselves. It's like, that guy looks like a killer. Anyway, so we were just um, trying to go about our business doing our work and we were fixing up something with a text and correcting something, like, you know, one of those textures, those magic markers. Anyway, so he came up to us and he said, you know what's in textures, girls? And we thought, oh no. We're about to find out. I'm going to get killed with a texter. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, so he said the same thing that's in nail polish. You know nail polish? And we were like, yes, we know nail polish. <laughs> Is he going to kill us with nail polish and textures? I'm not really sure. But anyway, he eventually left, which was great. We whew, were alive. And we thought it'd be funny. We joked about it for a while, going along and doing our work and just saying silly things like, oh, you've got pretty eyes. I collect eyes. I haven't got a color that set before. Or uh, just things like, oh, you have beautiful hair. I like to make some pants out of those hair. And <laughs> just stupid things, you know. But we freaked ourselves out completely and it wasn't a funny thing in the end because we were hearing noises and we really, really scared ourselves. And we still had two monster bags of rubbish to actually take out to the big bin outside and neither of us wanted to go out there. So, because we didn't want to end up with the, in the big monster bin, you know. We don't, that meant that we'd be in there till next Tuesday and I don't know. Not not the thing. Not the thing is that getting taken out, my body taken out next Tuesday with the rubbish. I, I don't know. But we just didn't want to end up in the big bin. But we were also very frightened of leaving that evening, worried that he was going to be waiting in the car park. Probably because we made jokes about that too, saying, "Oh, oh, he'll be waiting for you. He'll take you. You're younger, you know." And <laughs> anyway, I've seen enough of these films, and I don't know why I watch these films because they do frighten me, and they always make out like they're these odd sort of looking guys and but the truth is they're not they're usually very neat and tidy and they have a job and and sometimes they have wives and families but they still it's not enough for them they need to go around and kill people and I'm worried too because when I get scared I don't like go oh and run away I scream really loudly and I drop to the ground and I'm worried that if I was in this situation that this would not be helpful. It's like, or it might be. Maybe it would freak them out because they'd think, oh, where is she? Or there she is, she's on the ground. And oh, Or maybe they'd think, that's just too easy. I'm not going to do this if this is too easy. They've got to struggle at least or run or scream. Well, I'd scream, but I'd scream and drop. Anyway, um, my advice to you is if you meet one of these people that you think kills people, don't make jokes about it because it's not funny. Because you won't, yeah, you won't be laughing at the end of the night. And don't just scream and drop because they'll be able to get you. Okay, thank you. Bye.